Hello. So, it is technically Lucy's nap time, but because I put all these toys up here, she now wants to play with her toys. So, we're just gonna get started. We got some toys for her. Look at that precious face. Hi, baby girl. I hope everyone is having an amazing Sunday. Princess just walked in the room. Hi, princess. <laughs> and we'll we'll see if we can if we can keep things here. It's supposed to be for nap time, but I think she's getting a little excited. Hi. <laughs> what? She loves this lion toy. That was my mistake by putting it up here. And yes, this is our first live video of 2020. I didn't even think about that. Also, I'm gonna be behind the camera this whole time, so if you guys have any questions, we can also do another Q&A, since she obviously isn't gonna be sleeping right now, it doesn't look like. Yeah, she's growing up so fast, she's so big. All right, is this, is this too squeaky? <laughs> she wakes up at like six in the morning. We let her out of her on our bed for a little bit, and then she wakes up and plays with this toy and just wakes everybody up. <laughs> What? Oh, oh, you want some scratches? Yeah, well, you deserve some scratches. Princess, hi. Oh, wait, hold up. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this was supposed to be nap time, but... As you know, you can't really control things when you're doing dog videos, or puppies, mostly. So... We'll just try to go get it. There you go. Why did I name her Lucy? I named her Lucy because Daisy, um, her name is Daisy Duke, and I thought it'd be kind of pretty to do something similar to that, so I named her Lucy Lou. Um, <laughs> so that's why I named her Lucy. Oh, you lost it. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> you lost it. Lucy is, um, she was born August 13th, I believe. So she's about four months, going on five, going on five months. Yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, our crate's right back here. That's where she sleeps. We have crate trained her for the most part. We've warmed her up to it. Um, so she does a really good job of that. I would highly recommend, oh, stay here. I'd highly recommend getting your dog's crate trained. It's just, it's great for their obedience and discipline. Um, and it's a great place for them to go when you're alone. They don't chew anything or, you know, they don't put themselves in harm or any of your stuff in harm. Why did I pick Lucy instead of the other puppies? Well, if you guys have seen the video on Life with Labradors, hold on, stay here, Lucy. If you've seen the video on Life with Labradors, um, Daisy, her mom, showed Lucy a lot of extra love because Lucy was the runt and usually moms or I guess um, dog moms sometimes they will neglect the runt because they're a little weaker and they're trying to get their other puppies to be more healthy it's just natural selection in a way and survival of the fittest but Daisy no 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 Lucy yeah that's a plant it's called devil's ivy um, but because Lucy was the runt um, Daisy her mom actually showed her a lot of extra love so that there's a video on Life with Labradors, and I think it's called Labrador Mom Shows Runt Extra Love. And that video did really, really, really well. Um, so I was thinking, well, because Daisy, Lucy already, or because they have a little connection, I thought it'd be really neat to have her stay around um, and be near Daisy. So she does visit her mom and dad um, a few times, um, which we need to do some more videos on that. But if you guys haven't checked out that video on Life with Labradors, that's where Lucy is from. You guys can see her age from days old until, well, five months almost. What are you doing, huh? Oh, you got the Santa one. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, this was supposed to be nap time, but she had all alternate motives. My favorite color of Labrador, um, you know, I'm not too sure. I actually love, um, 
I love black labs. I really do. I think they're very, very, very beautiful. Oh, you're coming over here, huh? Let's scoot this back then. I love black labs. Um, and I love, I even love the yellow labs and the white labs, but I love her. She is so white and I love that. What's up, Journey? This is hello from Arizona, United States. Um, and also, I've been working with some Fox Red Labradors. Um, and some videos will be coming out soon of those guys. And those are beautiful, beautiful labs. So we got some important stuff coming up for all y'all. But favorite color? I don't know if I have one. I honestly, I like all of them. I love the chocolate. Bear, Bear's beautiful. If you've seen him on Life with Labs, he's one of my favorites. What's up, the Bronx? What's up, Poland? Princess is five years old. So she's about almost five months. Princess is five years. So you got a bit, bit of a difference, but they're actually best friends. Lucy and Scout and Runner have not, um, they haven't really had a play date yet. We've all been so busy. Lots of people are on trips right now. Um, so we, they haven't really had play dates, but we do want to set them up. She had a play date with a little puppy at the park today, which we will be doing some videos on that. They got along really well. It's a beautiful, beautiful golden doodle. Um, and he's about eight weeks. So she finally got to play with a little puppy and... We are going to be doing some, some play date videos on that, so stay tuned for some of those coming up in the next couple weeks. Lucy, why don't you face the camera? Huh? Lucy? What you doing? <laughs> come here. Let's give you a little belly rub. Come on. Come here. There you go. Princess is, um, she's a terrier of some sort. So she was originally sold as a lab from the Humane Society. She was, um, she was left in an abandoned home with her other puppies of her litter. So we actually don't know what she is, but we did order a DNA test kit and we are going to be doing a video of finding out Princess's DNA. So it's going to take a couple weeks to get that back, but if you guys are really interested in what Princess's DNA is, we are going to be sending that out, and hopefully in the month we'll have that video up. It does take a while for it to come back, but we're super excited for that. And have I taught Lucy any tricks? Um, well, she can do all the major ones. Sit, lay, stay. Can you get paw? There's Princess barking. Princess is a great guard dog. She alerts everyone when someone walks by the house or whatnot. <laughs> Some people hate it, but... At the end of the day, she's a good dog. What is that? What is that, huh, sweetie? Hey, princess, come here. Maybe not. Oh. Lucy, come here. Come here. <laughs> so I've actually, let's see if we can get this. Come here, Lucy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. And yes, I do obviously didn't. I just set it up there. She doesn't really mess with plants. She loves sticks. Just one second. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's time for your video, girl. Come here. Sit. Sit. Uh, sorry about that interruption. Good girl. Someone just came home, so she's wondering who it is. But you can be patient, huh? Good girl. Can you shake? Pa? Shake? She's still learning. Good girl! Good girl! Yeah! And I can hold her paws. I can honestly pretty much do anything with her paws and she doesn't really mind. So she's a great dog. Hey guys! You gotta leave it alone. Come here! Lucy, come here! Come here, Prince or Lucy, come here. All right, well, if you want to squish your paws, I might as well squish your paws a little more. Come here. It's okay. You want a treat? All right, so I'm going to give her a treat. Just one second, let me get them. You want a treat, huh? All right, sit. <laughs> sit. Lucy, sit. Good girl, stay. Sorry, you guys can't see her face. <laughs> just cut off. All right, uh, uh, uh. good girl, stay, shake, good girl. <laughs> it's 
Are you cute? Here. I'm also trying to teach her up. So I'm trying to, I'm also teaching her down, but just for the sake of her being smart and knowing how to follow commands. Lucy, up. I'll tap the bed. Up. Up. Come on. Up. You gonna do it? Come on, Lucy. Look, here's a treat. Up. 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 Good girl. Come on, you almost there. Up. All right, I'll help you. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that is your Trito bag. Yep, no, nope, we're all done for right now. Can you go and sit? Good girl. Hello, Netherlands. Thank you so much for checking in. Hold on. Good girl. Lay. Good girl. Princess is outside of the room. Um, she was barking quite a bit. She's... Some people just came home. Lucy was supposed to be having nap time. But there's alternative motives going on, huh? Hi. My favorite thing is actually, oh, you don't want me to do it, huh? Usually you do, is rubbing her big old ears. She actually will fall asleep if I do that to her while she's laying down. Where is the claw, huh? <laughs> we play with the claw just about every day. I hope you guys are all having a great morning. Come here. Here. Let's get you to sit. What's this? Is this your little lion? Go get it. No? If Lucy... Oh, I'm sorry. It's hard to keep up. If Lucy had puppies, how much would you want her to have? Well, I'm not too sure if Lucy's going to have puppies because she's the runt and she has... Just because she's smaller, I'm not too sure if it would be super wise to breed her. Um, but I will, I have been considering it, but because she's just a little more, I don't know, dainty or smaller, I don't want to really put her in harm. Come here. Come here. I don't want to put her in harm. Come here. <laughs> Come here. No, 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 no. Sit. Lay. There you go. Lay. This is your favorite bone. There you go. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? She smells her treats. Go on. Go sniff bag. She is tired, but she just doesn't, she won't take a nap. Just one second. Do I work outside of taking care of Lucy, Princess, and YouTube for Life with Labradors? Um, no, honestly, I just do YouTube full-time now, so I do her channel part-time. I do, oh, thank you so much for the, for the, um, for the super chat. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I actually work YouTube full-time. Thank you so much, Lydia. You are so awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and we actually, so I do YouTube full time. I run the Life with Labrador's channel full time. So I do that five days a week. And then her channel I do, I try to do at least three to four videos a week. And then recently, if you guys haven't checked it out, I also started a new channel called Life with Rescues. And that's going to be more of a donations based channel. We have almost a thousand subscribers. So we're almost able to monetize it. And basically what we do there is I go to, recently I only have one video. And if you guys have seen it, um, I shared one on Life with Labradors as well as there's a new one on Life with Rescues. But I went to an animal shelter. Hi, baby girl. You're so good. I went to an animal shelter and gave some homeless dogs some presents and made their day. What? What? So um, I do that channel as well. And there's also some other ideas coming up in the books here. So stay tuned. We've got a lot of really cool stuff coming up content-wise. Is that where you want to sleep? 
You want to sleep on the pillows? Because that's not your spot. Yeah, that's right. Good girl. Good sit. Are labs okay to be alone during the day? So Labradors, they are, um, they are pretty high maintenance. They have a lot of energy. So I would say if you do have a lab, if you are going to be leaving, we try to take her on a walk every single morning and that's kind of why she's tired as we took her to the park today and she was running around uh, making friends so that's why she's tired but she's not sleeping because she is distracted here I got another one yes yes I do can you lay good girl um, but we do crate train her but we also come home during lunch and other things like that just because it is they can't hold their, their bladder or their pee for too long. So we try to come home at least, we don't try to make it more than like three to four hours. And that is still a little bit of time, but if you do crate train um, your dog, Labradors do have, as well as other dogs, they have a lot of energy. So it's good to get all their energy out before you crate train them or before you put them in their crate just so that they do sleep for a long time or they, you know, they, uh, they feel more comfortable going to bed. Also teaching them that it's a safe place. Can you shake? Good girl. If you teach them that it's a safe place um, and you have the door open, you feed them in there. I don't feed her in there because Princess eats. Uh, she, Princess isn't crate trained, so we feed them together. But that's another great way of training them to like their crate is by feeding them in there. Leaving the door open. I give her a treat every single time I ask her to go to her, her crate or to kennel up. Hi, baby. You want some rubs now? You want to play now? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Let me see if you guys can see this. I believe you can. Um, but yeah, crate training is honestly is such a blessing, but it's it's very difficult to do, and it does take a lot of practice, and it is hard to break their whining or their habits of not wanting to be in there. But once you do do that, what? Are you incredibly? Can you sit? Sit from laying. Good girl. Good sit. And then obviously reward them right after they do a good command. This turned into a training video, huh? Good girl. Good sit. You dropped it. All right, if you guys have any other questions or anything, I know this was supposed, I was intending on just giving her cuddles and petting her, rubbing her ears and her paws while she slept, but she has different motives. So if you guys have any questions, we can also turn this into a QA. and a um, or you guys can just shout out where you're from, honestly, anything. This is just a little fun Sunday video I decided to do last minute. So um, do I edit my own videos? Yes, I do. I edit all the videos for her channel, Life with Labradors and Life with Rescues. We are thinking of having some other people, some people how to edit, but for now, yeah, do. And yeah, she is turning blonde. She's actually, she has like a lot of the, it's kind of darker up here. Her ears are obviously brown. She's got those cute freckles. Um, but she's actually getting really, really white. At first I thought she was going to get pretty yellow, and she, I guess she still might. But recently she's been looking like a lot of that yellow on top is turning a little more white. What's up, Portland, Oregon? It's pretty wet and cold out there, huh? I have a very good friend who just moved to Washington State. Um, he's he's from here, so he's actually been loving it a lot. But yeah, I hear it stays pretty wet out there. You look so tired. Why aren't you sleeping? Look at that tired face. All right, I'm not gonna be looking at the screen just yet. We're going to be giving her some pets. Hi. You sleepies? Because you look major sleepies. Yeah. Shh, 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 shh. Also something. Oh, okay. All right. Go ahead. Oh, good girl. Something that I trained them on, which I've actually learned, is that if you use like, shh, you know, SH, um, if you do that, it actually naturally will calm them down. Shh, shh, shh. Nuh-uh-uh. It's time for bed. No. It's not. You look so tired. Why aren't you sleeping? 
<laughs> she's getting bigger too. She's finally filling out. She was really skinny there for a minute. We've been feeding her a little bit extra to get her all plumped up. And you're growing real fast, huh? Can you do it without me saying it? <laughs> Look at her looking at my hand like, what? What? Come on. Oh, almost. Oh, good girl. So that's another big thing is I use a lot of snapping, um, kind of clapping, certain noises. I guess, you know, they tell you to use a clicker. I don't have a clicker. My, my snapping has always just been, I've always snapped since I was a kid. Um, so that is, I do that with every single command and it works really, really well, even to the point where you don't have to say things like, like I was saying, having certain commands like this or this, I've been trying to do, do this for like down, lay down is this one or like pulling my hand this way. Can you sit? Hmm? Or are you going to go to sleep? Hi, there you go. What? What? And I also just want to say thank you for everyone um, for tuning into this live video. We're not leaving quite yet, but I just want to thank everyone. I, I really appreciate everyone checking in and saying hi. And Fletcher, Fletcher is great. I've been wanting to do another video on them. It's just so hard to find the time. But Lucy's warming up to him. Fletcher's warming up to her. Sometimes there's a little bit of a, a defense. Her nose right in his face. And so he kind of... Fletcher's originally... He just does those natural defense. But over... It helps him because I tell her to go or tell her to sit and stay, and then he sees that, and he's like, okay, she's not coming after me. So, I want to do some more. Sorry about that. Let me see what I can do. Is that better? I think it's better on my side. Is it still lagging for you guys? Okay, good. Ah, 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 ah. Someone's, someone's home. So close. So close to falling asleep. Come on. Come here. Sit. Good girl. What's up, Sri Lanka? That's super cool. And yes, my girl is home, but we also live with some roommates who aren't in the videos, um, but we do have two other roommates. So anytime they come home, come here, come here. No? Anytime they come home, they get a little disrupted. Princess is a, is a great guard dog. She alerts everyone when someone's home. What? What's up, Uruguay, Germany? That's amazing. May you be my roommate? I've got enough right now. We're trying to actually, me and my girl actually thinking of, oh, okay. We're thinking of getting married on the leap day of this year. So I know some of you guys have asked about when the date is. We kind of just came up with that. We might do something real small with our family. Lucy, what is it? Daisy Chief Bear and Nike are not my dogs. Those dogs belong to the YouTuber Big Dogs TV. Uh, me and him, he and I are great friends. Um, and so he actually asked me to help him out with his channel just because he has a million things going on. So those are not my dogs, but I do, do run the ch channel for them. them. Lucy. Lucy. Come here. Is that the charger? 
What is it? Here, come on, let's come up. You're tired. That's why you're whiny. All right, everyone, let's try this again. All right, baby. Come on, one, two, three, up. Come here. Come here. <laughs> you are so cute. How do I keep her from nipping? Nipping is really difficult, um, but ultimately she'll know. Sometimes um, it's even something that, that the mother will do. A mom dog will put her muzzle over, hold on, her puppy's muzzle. So sometimes if she is nipping, I will just ah, ah, go like this and say, no, no biting. Good girl, good girl. So she understands that really well. You can't hold hard because it is, you know, it, you can't hurt them. That, that's an easy way. Quiet, no biting, type of stuff like that works really well. And then obviously, you're like rewards. I'm pretty strict with her, but I'm also extremely loving. So I think that helps a lot by being pretty strict. Out of love. All right, let's see if I can go to a different part of the house. Obviously, she wants to get out. So. Let's go ahead and see what this journey takes us to. Where do you want to go? You want to say hi to people? Come on, let's go. What is it? Hmm? What are you looking for? Hey, say hi. You wanna go outside? Okay, let's go outside. Do you wanna go outside? Hi, princess, you want some love? Also, Princess always looks like she has jumpers on when she walks. Or not jumpers, but the joggers. <laughs> Her butt looks so funny. Thank you so much, Aiden Spence. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. You guys want to go outside? So currently, we actually had our pool drained. We're renting this house. Um, currently and there's been a problem with the pool so they drain the pool so we're trying to kind of keep them away from that not that they ever do go really in the pool but it's a pretty big hole right now and I'm not trying to have any complications so if you guys see that please don't freak out it is a big hole but we are trying to obviously play things safe how long does she be in her crate well I work from 9 to 5 I live work super close to home so I usually will sometimes come home during lunch let her out, eat lunch here, and then put her back in. And then my fiance will also come home. She has school. She's going to nursing school. She graduates this May. Thank the Lord. It's going to be amazing. Um, oh, thank you so much, Aiden Spence. I appreciate that. It's dope. Um, and yeah, Lucy is, is almost bigger than Princess. I bet in this next month she will be, she will be bigger than her. Uh, Lucy is almost five months. But... Um, it's good not to keep your dogs in their crates for too long Because you don't want them to think it's a prison good girl good potty Is always necessary if they hold their their pee too long then um, And yeah But she probably spends I want to say at least three to four hours at the most some days might be even longer, but we, we, we try to do a lot better about that and uh, she is not spayed, so I at least... Oh yeah, the garden, huh? She's been digging this fancy hole. I don't know if you can see it, I don't think you can. But she's a big fan of the garden. Business trip this week. Um, so next will be... 
so at first she did not want to be in a crate at all so we let her actually sleep on the bed for the first couple of nights just to warm her up with being home um lisi come here come here yeah you don't want to be next to there come here good girl um and yeah it is generally easy if you you know we have our crate in our room so when she whines or whatnot obviously she's much better about it now but it can be challenging if you have a hard time listening to a dog whine or be upset about being in a crate but it's all about just ignoring that and it's honestly it's a safe place they're just not used to it so you just got to help them be feel feel safe so giving them treats i've had tons of toys in her crate sometimes we even put like ice cubes she loves chewing on ice cubes what is that is this a ball it sure is you want to play Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, since she wouldn't nap before, maybe she'll nap now. You want to go get it? Huh? Sit. Sit. Nope. That's not sitting. Sit. Lucy, sit. <laughs> sit. Good girl. Go get it. Princess sleeps on a bed right next to uh, my fiance's side. So Lucy's on my side and Princess is on that side. And Princess doesn't chew anything. Princess is a really good dog. So she didn't really need to be crate trained. Good girl, good drop. Go get it. I know Lucy is fighting her nap time. Princess's birthday. Oh man, I forgot when her birthday is. I want to say it's in February. So for potty training, that's a tricky one because she still sometimes goes in the house, but she knows it's bad. What? Where's your toy? Go get your toy. Go get your ball. Um, but by just, you know, it's not good to get super mad at them. If they go inside, it is an accident. But I will, I'm pretty strict in my tone. And I'll be like, Lucy, no potty inside. You already know this. Potty outside, right? And she does. And then we also give her treats and stuff when she does that. To get her to stop jumping, I just say Lucy down and snap my fingers. And I won't give her any attention until she stops that or if she sits down. Even when she sits down and I go to give her a hug, she'll jump up and give me a really big hug. But at least it, I think that's a, a step in the right direction. Um, just by not showing them any attention for bad behavior. Because if you show them attention for bad behavior, then they're just going to keep doing it because they think that that's normal. But I try to wait. Even with, even with the big dogs, I've been doing that too because they get really excited when I come, come there, the four labs for life with labs. So I try to ignore them until they sit, until all of them sit, which, some, ah, 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 <laughs> which sometimes takes a little while. But it's all about um, practice makes perfect. What game does Lucy like? Well, Lucy likes anything with the ball. She likes anything with sticks. Oh, she's going to grab it. She loves sticks. That's probably her favorite toy is a stick. Um, and then also the claw is her favorite thing. <laughs> the claw is literally her favorite, her favorite game. No biting. Good girl. <laughs> what? I haven't heard about the knee trick. But I guess that, that does make sense because then they can't actually physically like touch you. They're, they're constantly back. It's a good idea. Does Princess ever try to get Lucy out of her cage? Princess does not, but however, when we come home, Princess goes into our room with us all super excited and she'll do like, li like little circles around her cage and be super excited and then we'll let Lucy out and then Lucy will run and then they both will all just start chasing each other. 
are you going? It's beautiful weather here today. It's like, I want to say it's like 65 degrees. It's really nice. Here, Lucy, come on. Let's get away from there. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. And then I think the biggest thing of like training dogs is like giving them a ton of praise. So she loves hearing good girl. Are you a good girl, huh? Well, usually, but if I'm, if I'm asking her to, to come stay anything and I tell her good girl, or even if she isn't doing it and she takes one step, um, I'll say good girl and then she'll continue to, to come towards me even if she was hesitant at first because she likes hearing that type of verbal praise. It's 34 degrees in India, oh, Indiana. I was like, no way. <laughs> yeah, Indiana's cold. I'm from Colorado, so yeah, I'm used to that cold weather. I love it out here. It's, it's getting, in, I wanna say it's at least gonna be 70 today. It's a little warm. And yeah, you liked your grass, huh? No grass, come on, let's go see Princess. Good girl, good girl. Look who it is. <laughs> come on, why didn't you come outside? Princess is the weirdest dog. She won't come outside sometimes. Come on, let's go outside. Good girl, Lucy. Come on, Princess. Come on. No? Come on, come here. Look at that face. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you guys get a close up of Princess. Hi. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Good girl. She does still have her baby teeth. She's over there playing with the grass again. Hi, you want kisses? No? Come here. Good girl. <laughs> Lucy does still have her baby teeth. We're waiting for her to lose some of her teeth. Actually, let's see if she's lost any. Come here, Lucy. You lost any teeth? Come here. I do not, do I brush Lucy's teeth? And if you do, what do you do with? Um, well, you can get like dog toothbrush on Amazon, but you can also just use like a normal human one, like a cheap dollar store one. I wouldn't brush a puppy's teeth because they're gonna lose their teeth anyways. So I would brush Princess's teeth, but Princess has pretty good dental hygiene. You can also put very little amounts of, I think baking soda in their water once a month or something like that. Um, and that will also help, um, clean their teeth. So if brushing teeth is hard for your dogs, you can look up alternative ways to keep your dog's dental hygiene up to par. Huh? Can you come here? Do that today, but I'm going to film like a little video. We're gonna make a video of that. Um, we're super excited for that. It's gonna, I don't have no idea what's going to come back. And hopefully, you know, it might not be 100% accurate, but I bet it will be. It's going to be better than anything. And yes, no real toothpaste. I obviously didn't say that. Get dog toothpaste from Amazon or anywhere else. Chewy. They make dog toothpaste. So yeah, don't use a human toothpaste because that does have a lot of chemicals in it that would not be good for dogs. And dentist sticks, yes, those work really well. Chew toys, lots of those things are actually meant for, for dental hygiene for dogs. Where's Lucy? Appreciate everyone that's still. She just like, she's, look at that. She's almost bigger. Look. Look at you two. You're almost the same size, if not the same size. Here, let's see if this works. Come here, Lucy. You wanna get weighed? Come here. I trained her to sit on the scale. Come here. Come here. You might be too big for it now. <laughs> Come here. Let's see if you can do it. Sit. 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 Wait, wait. Sit. 
think she's too big for it. Sit. This worked a lot easier when she was smaller. Sit. Sit on the scale. Well, right now, one of your feet and whatever support you have is 8.8 .8 pounds. Good for you. You're growing up. You're mad at the scale? <laughs> You're not fat. <laughs> oh, man, she's so cute. What? Well, this was a supposed to be a nap video, like I said. So if you guys ended up watching because it looked really cute on the thumbnail, thank you very much. But Lucy, <laughs> no. Thank you so much. Aloha, ma mahalo. I believe I said that right. <laughs> you're not fat, Lucy. You're not fat and you're not overweight. In fact, you're a little underweight. Yeah, you're a little underweight. No chewing. Good, I don't know if, I don't think everyone does that. But any type of little thing, come on, let's go out. Good girl, good girl. I talk my dogs through everything. So if we're, whether that's feeding, treats, commands, Inside, outside, good. no, naughty, anything. I, I like, I talk to my dog right there. I'm with the connection. You want to come up? Come on. Come up. Come up. Do you, did you lose any teeth? No, you don't want to show us? Look at that. That's my smile. Good. <laughs> All right. Good. Hmm? You see Peace Girl now? Good girl. We got Princess right down here. We got my new moccasins for Christmas. Shouts out. <laughs> Princess, what? You wanna come up here too? All right, let's see if we can get both of them up. Because it is good to have them close by. Hi. So big. It's Tuesdays. Job. Two. But. Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs is. It's a little south of Denver. Right under Pikes. The heat, I'm a big fan of. You have a honeymoon house for us to uh, Aloha, mahalo. That would be cool. <laughs> Let's see if I can set this. Girls. I can rub her ears until she falls asleep. She loves that. Lucy, I don't really know how long she sleeps, to be honest. <laughs> I would say, well, she can sleep for a pretty long time, but there's just a lot of noise and stuff. We live right next to a corner. Pretty busy. Desensi desensitation, I think. Des well, it's great for her because she hears lots of noises and she's learned not to be scared of them. So that's. What's up? No, no, no. Hopefully that's better. I'm sorry about the connection. We don't have the best connection here. Oh, someone's home. Who is that? Who is that? One of our roommates. Now are you ready for your bed, for your nap, for your sleep? Come here. You wanna sleep? <laughs> what? 
Do you hear people? You on my side? Actually, I meant to uh, say something about that, Aloha. Um, so tomorrow she starts her first training class. Making her a service dog. I would love to be able to take her on planes. She, I am in the process of making her a service dog. So she has her first classes coming up. I think she's gonna do great because she already knows a lot. And Alex, that sucks. No, princess, you can't eat that. Come on, sorry about the lag on some of the, some of the parts. It's just not happening. There's a, it's one training session per week. We're doing it on Mondays. So um, I'm sure we'll have some exercise and some homework to do outside of class. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. I'll, I'll see if I can do some videos on the actual obedience class. I talked to them about it before, but I'll have to get other consents and whatnot. What's that? Good girl. See, when she was first here, she would have been so scared of a siren. She's getting really warmed up to those types of things. All right, come on. Lucy's birthday is, I always get the date wrong. I'm sorry about that. It's, I think it's August 12th. Go get it. So yeah, I think it's actually been really good for us to be on the corner of the house or the corner of the street. She hears a lot of crazy cars with awesome mufflers that just love to be as noisy as possible. <laughs> All right, everybody, well, we're gonna wrap this thing up. We're just short of an hour. This has been a great live stream. Sorry about, we didn't really take a nap, but you guys got to see Lucy and, and well, one of her Sunday Sunday days, I guess. A little, a little puppy day. A little hour in, in the life of Lucy. On a beautiful Sunday. What you smelling? Princess is smelling too. <laughs> what you smelling? And sorry, Lydia, I didn't answer you earlier. I did see that. We have not, I've not set up a PO box yet. I've been meaning to, but things got super complicated for a minute there. And just with all the holidays and stuff, I really wanted to get that done, but it didn't work out. Stay away from the edge, princess. Come here. So um, I will be setting one of those up because we would love to do fan, fan mail reviews with the dogs. And I think that you guys would also really like to do that as well. It'd be something special for everybody. There's Lucy's tail wag when she sees someone. <laughs> All right, well, it's time to go. Thank you for not taking a nap. <laughs> Gotta say bye. Well, thanks to everyone that has checked in from minute one to minute 57 we are now. Thanks for everyone. All the support, all the love, all the comments, concerns, questions. We couldn't do it without you guys. We really appreciate it. All right, Lucy Lou, come on. It's time to go. Princess, come here. Say bye. <laughs> See you guys. Bye from, from Phoenix, Arizona. Warm weather. To those that don't have warm weather, I wish you warm weather. Hi. Hi, and I hope you guys all have a great Sunday. If it's not Sunday where you are, I hope you have a great Monday or Saturday. I'm not too sure how the how the time works, but I think. Well, it's Monday somewhere. It's Monday on the in Asia. I'm pretty sure. All right, guys. Hope you guys have a great next week. Enjoy your time. Princess out. Go Eagles, huh? I was actually just in Pennsylvania. If you guys haven't checked it out, look at A Crazy Night Out. It's on Big Dawes Vlogs. Me and Dawson went to um, Pennsylvania a few weeks ago, and uh, we actually, what is it called? We tailgated um, an Eagles and Patriots game. So that's a whole vlog. It was pretty fun. I hope you guys enjoy that. And for now, well, this has been a great video. Thanks for checking in. Lucy, no holes. No holes. Thank you. But no holes. All right, Lucy, say bye. Oh yeah, she also loves jalapenos. I have this jalapeno serrano 
plant right here and she keeps go green bay go green bay i have uh, my brother's from wisconsin racine so i'm a little bit of a green bay fan i guess you could say but she really loves jalapenos i'm gonna do a video on that i try to keep her from eating them but she actually just has like a major i don't know she loves them she loves playing with them all right everybody well have a great week thanks for sticking with us it's time that we leave Say bye, Lucy. We love you. Bye. All right. Say bye, princess. Shake. Can you shake? No? <laughs> All right. See you guys. Have a great week. Thanks for checking in. Lucy, princess, and the clan out.